Right, another new mould. This is from Diorama Debris. I'll run through it as I normally do. One thirty fifth scale. This is a brick wall section, English bond. The mould number is one three five zero zero seven zero. Produced in the UK by R J Norris. Now, this is a double mould. You get two moulds, and this is going to be difficult to explain without actually having the parts. Right. Uh, this is English bond. And as you can see, you've got a stretcher course and you've also got a header course. Now you have a queen closure for your walls. It, this is going to be so difficult to explain. Right. These end pieces here, when you actually turn a corner, you need to fix these to the end of this. Uh, to keep the bond correct. I think this is going to be, uh, I think the best thing for me to do is I'll get these cast out and then I can actually show you uh, with loose parts how these all worked because it's very difficult to explain what they're actually for. So I'm going to get off and I'm going to get these cast and uh, then we'll come back and we'll have a little look. Right, I have done some casting and knocked some parts out. Uh, this is what it looks like when you assemble it as a corner. Now, I've left this corner light for a reason which I'll get into in a few minutes. The parts, you've got two moulds, uh, a left and a right handed mould which is going to make things rather difficult for people who don't, um, well, have got no knowledge of uh, actually laying in bricks. <coughs> now, the left hand and the right hand side. If you get a left hand and a right hand and try to marry them up and keep the brick coursing the same, it don't work it just doesn't work so that's the reason why they have got a left hand and a right handed mould. We'll put the right handed side down for the moment. Now this is another left handed part and this is the left handed part and as you can see they'll marry up and you'll keep your brick course in the same. So that's the left handed side, big hand in front and the right hand is exactly the same. That will marry up together. But they won't marry up, a left and a right won't marry up together. The reason is, they've done it this way is so you can actually turn a corner. Which, that's the reason why I've left this bit a bit lighter. Because they also, within the mould, they give you certain bits to do this job and you get a left hand and a right hand. Now, what I should do, I should just switch the camera off and I'll reposition it so I can sort of show you a little bit easier how it works. Okay, turning a corner uh, in English Bond. It's slightly different to the stretcher uh, because like I say, it's a totally different bond altogether because you've got a stretcher and a header. Right, now what we've got in front of us is one mould, what you get actually get in one mould. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, these two end pieces, you don't have to worry about these because these are just to make up your panels if you need slightly bigger. That is all that for. So we're going to discard them. Now to turn the corner, we need these pieces here. Now if I bring this one into shot, the first piece we need to do is we need to create an opening for the bricks to go into on the actual corner. So they've actually supplied a piece that will actually do that. That just slots into there. And this contains a bit called a queen closure. Now, I'm pointing to that bit now. This is the queen closure. 
and all it is is a brick that is cut. If I turn one of these up, instead of being cut across that way, it's cut from end to end, and it, that's what they call a queen closure. All right, now that queen closure creates the space for the end of the brick to go into. I'll bring this back again. So that's the piece we've just put in, and now that creates this opening to actually put the next piece in. Now the next piece is another queen closure, and this is in the mould, and it's a very delicate piece because it it does just fall apart as you try and get it out. But it it's, it's there's no problem with it. Now that bit goes in like so. I'm going to use my fingers because it's a lot easier. So that piece we've just put in is, when the camera focuses, is this piece here, all the way down. And that's your queen closure in there. And that then makes it so when you come to put your next panel in, like so, everything works right. So as you can see, I'll bring it down just a little bit closer. Right, so as you can see now, you have your, he your head, of course, which then comes into a queen closure, a full brick, which goes around the corner, then straight into your head, of course, again, and vice versa with your stretch, of course. Now, there's no other way it can be done. It's just the bond, even when you're laying these bricks in real life, that's the way you have to do it. You have to use a queen closure. And they've done it extremely well, actually, in this mold. They've made it nice and easy. So that's how you get around a corner. Uh, to get around the opposite corner, you just use all the bits from the opposite mold to the opposite corner. It's easy as that. So you also, you've got a review and a tutorial all mixed into one. Now that's value for money. So thank you very much for joining me and if there is any questions and if you're not certain uh, leave a message, you know, put a note in the bottom of the box there and uh, I'll try and help whichever way I can. So thank you very much for joining me and we'll see you on the next one.